Hello there again, it's me Oti from otiscusina.com. Since we were in the colder months, I've been thinking about what are the recipes that you can make and you know that give you this comforting feel that when you heat it up it becomes like a broth or soup like consistency but today i'm making chicken and um, what i'm going to be using in the chicken today is this little green thing here the tomatillo yeah so the tomatillo is this it's like uh, a green tomato but it's not really a tomato so it comes with this um husk surrounding it and so you peel it off and you have to rinse it because it has this um, sticky residue that sticks to it after you've taken out the husk so you have to rinse it and then um, for this recipe I'm going to be using diced up tomatillos okay? so essentially it's chicken that is braised in a slow simmering stock of chicken stock right um, onions some garlic some jalapenos and some chickpeas yes so tomatillos tend to go very well with the green peppers like jalapenos and serranos but in this case i'm only using the jalapenos and for the chicken every time that i know that i'm going to be making a chicken recipe i try to salt the chicken the night before the one thing that that does for you is that it makes the chicken so moist and so tender and the best salt to use for that is the kosher salt yeah so this i use the morton's coarse um kosher salt so once you salt it for a maximum of 24 hours really if you salt it and then you even just regular boiling with a little bit of pepper you're not going to believe the difference that it makes to the chicken so this is already <coughs> um salted and ready to go yes okay so the other things that we're going to be needing are the spices for the day. So I have some, a little bit of Mexican chili powder because I like mine a little bit spicy. Some cumin, some coriander, and some black pepper. Like the spice wasn't enough. Okay, so. And this is what it looks like after you add it. So it's like a soupy uh, consistency that you can use to serve over rice. Okay? So while I was making this on the stove, um, the chicken is braised for about 30 minutes, slow simmer on the stove. I actually put half of the chicken in my pressure cooker, the Instant Pot. And this is what it looks like. The only thing you're saving is time right which is pressure so this got done in 15 minutes and this was ready in about 30 but the difference is because if you're cooking on the stove you have the space to open up the pot and let the liquid reduce to a thicker consistency if you want but in this case because it's cooking under pressure no way to release the liquids you have more of a brothy consistency with this but essentially the same taste nothing changes okay so I garnished with some pickled radishes I have and cilantro and it's ready. So this is on the regular stove. This is on the Insta Pot. In the Insta Pot. So you see you can make the same thing if you really want to save time. This is your time saver right here, right? So this is 15 minutes and this was about 30, 35 minutes. Okay? So I hope you try this. It's a really simple recipe and the tomatillo just gives it this very tangy, sweet taste. Yeah. And um, I hope to see you in the kitchen next week. Yes. Uh, from my kitchen to yours, it's bon appetit.